trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another demo and review for you guys. Today I'm excited because new products, new line, new brand, everything gorgeously kinky coming to you right now. So of course I'm just trying some of the line because I did buy more, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just going to go through one of their masks, one of their leave-in thingies and then the styling custard that I bought and just do like a wash and go. So but first I'm going to shampoo my hair because you know I live the shampoo life now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm back after shampooing and ready to apply the mask. You guys know I love the She Scented Pomegranate and Pear Mask. So I'm excited to try this Pomegranate and Agave Mask. You guys know I shampoo quite thoroughly. So let's see what this mask can do. Let's get started. Ooh, nice and full. <laughs> I like that. Has a She Scented type scent. Um, I guess you guys know that the ingredients in this line is kind of similar to the She Scented stuff. So, you know, what you guys call a She Scented dupe, I guess. But don't mind if I do, bring them on. So it's very thick. But the texture feels like if it'll penetrate easily. So it's thick, but it's kind of smooth, kind of conditioning feeling as opposed to buttery feeling. So, yeah. Yep, no problem with the spread. It's spreading easily. Mm -hmm. My hair feels great already, like just kind of softened and moisturized. So. Definitely looking forward to it after I've let it sit for a while. We can try to get my crown and edges. All right. Ooh. Slip like a dream, as you can see. This is like freshly shampooed here. I like when the slip is so good that freshly shampooed here still feels like butter. That's what I need my deep conditioner to do, or at least prefer it to do. Just gonna you know, section and smooth and try to get it everywhere. Because I know with my thick hair there's gotta be a black spot somewhere that didn't get. Okay. I'm almost getting emotional because I haven't tried like such a no constructive criticism, no this could have been better, like just a perfect instant wow deep conditioner in a, in a long time, like no buts or maybes and no waiting for it to penetrate, yeah. So I definitely love it, definitely recommend it, definitely will be purchasing it, yes you can believe and I love it just as much as the pomegranate and pear uh, she sent in line. Pomegranate and agave, I guess, is even better for me than pear because my hair loves agave as well as pomegranate. I love pear, but I mean, come on, agave, honey, like those are like even stronger humectants. So my hair is just drinking it up, was dry, not dry no more. Thank you, gorgeously kinky, two thumbs up. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I haven't even let it sit, y'all. <laughs> dream, dream, dream. Alright, so I'm gonna go let it sit anyway and then come back and show you the result and get to the rest of the wash day. I'm excited. I hope that everything else keeps these good vibes going. I expect the like leave-in thing to be great. The gel, you all know, kinky hair and these kind of gels are sometimes hit and miss. But let's hope the good news keeps coming. Tune in, stay tuned, and we'll see what we get. <laughs> This is how much I use, not even bad, like not even as much as half and I just gave it a really good shampoo. So you don't need a lot, a little goes a long way and the moisture is there. Super moisturizing, great slip, great scent, great texture. Like I said, this is everything. So it's thick, but it's not buttery feeling. It's more conditionally feeling, like smoothening. You know the difference, like butter just feels like thick and nothing's happening, but conditioning kind of conditions your skin. Like I can tell the difference when I touch them. And this feels more conditioning than buttery. So the pomegranate, glycerin, and agave has me right and tight. But she lose for sure. Definitely love this. So I'm back after letting it sit. My hair, I mean, it felt amazing before. It still feels amazing. It's just juicy. It's like full of moisture. So I'm totally loving it. I really am. I mean, y'all can see, like, you know. And I'm hoping, I mean, I'm pretty sure the leave and it's gonna be just as good. I'm hoping the gel is gonna be good. Like, that's the only thing. That has me kind of nervous. 
So let's get to the wash and go. <laughs> I just want to mention that I love how it comes like totally seal seal like this extra stuff here just to make sure nothing gets out. So I really appreciate that. I like when brands take the extra step to make sure their products are secure, especially when you're buying it online and it's being shipped. So fewer accidents, fewer having to talk to customer service and like all the drama. Give me some extra sealing like this. I love it. And of course, I love the packaging too. Like the purple got me so high. I try not to be as much of a sucker for packaging as I am, but I am a sucker for packaging. This one is the moisturizing styling milk. The pomegranate agave curl enhancing hair jelly. So I'm thinking overall it should hold based on the ingredients. You know I prefer like pectin, xanthan gum and stuff. But if you are going to give me something with cab, I'm going to put some kind of acrylate scopolymer. I find that that just helps to reduce dryness I guess for me. And of course load it up with like pomegranate agave, anything like that. Help to boost the moisture again like I said. Prevent that dry kabama icky feeling. So between kabama being very low down and lots of moisturizing ingredients even though i'm a little scared i'm hopeful and i'm excited so let me stop talking and just get to it all right so this is my hair after rinsing the hair mask i'm about to apply the leave-in well actually it's a styling milk <laughs> about to apply the moisturizing styling milk i like the consistency because it's thick but not too thick you can see it's still moving a bit and it's easy to spread and apply And I love the scent too, it's kind of like that she said, that kind of sweet candy-ish type scent. One thing I would say is even though it makes my hair feel soft and even though it defines my hair, somehow I feel like if I wish it had more moisture, like I don't know, I could just be crazy because my hair responds to it, but in terms of how it feels, it doesn't feel as conditioned and moisturized, it feels more, I don't want to say the peel in terms of penetrating, I mean it, it feels like some of it penetrated, but I'm a little nervous about moisture. But we'll see when it dries, I guess. Because usually when I point out moisture when it's wet, it usually is dry when it dries. <laughs> but I'm hoping that this is the exception and it dries moisturized. So it feels a little thick on my hair, like kind of, you know, slightly more on than in. Even though my hair does feel soft and it does look defined. I don't know, just, I don't know if I'm crazy or what. <laughs> but I'm a little nervous about moisture. But this is my hair with the styling milk. And then I'm gonna get to the second roller coaster, which is the hair jelly. <laughs> so, yeah. Styling milk and hair jelly, just styling milk. <laughs> okay, so this is the hair jelly, and it's all white. <laughs> but at least it's more of a pudding consistency than a cream consistency. When I first saw the white, I was like, please don't be cream. But it is more pudding. I wish they're just quoting puddings if they are puddings, but because you know when I think of hair jelly, I'm thinking more like a gel. <laughs> but anyways, let's keep going. So it definitely does have the kabama effect for me, which is like after I apply it, I kind of need to add water to get it to like it just kind of seizes up my hair. <laughs> like the water just kind of isn't there. Which is what happens when I use anything with kabama basically. So I'm just going to add a bit more water and then work it in. So I will say it has nice slip. Trying to see what I think about the scent. Ah. <laughs> it's a light kind of fruity scent. Not like super sweet, but a nice kind of fruity scent. It is sweet, but not like the candy is sweet. A heavier like wine-ish type sweet I guess. Not like wine but kind of like a deeper sweet. Yeah. So this is my hair after working in the styler. I literally have no idea about the hold. Like it's not flat but it's not big. It is defined but it's not super laid. So I really don't know how it's gonna dry. So this is it. I'm just going to shake it out a bit and then we'll see tomorrow for me in a blink of an eye for you. So stay tuned. Didn't use that much. It looks like a lot and it probably is a lot for some but I didn't use that much. I would say I use a lot. I use extra like kind of just in case. See? So if this holds well then next time I could probably just use half of that. Give me a little drill. And we're done y'all, wash day complete. 
So I am a little bit nervous about moisture and hole. Um, I do like the shine and definition and we'll see soon about the rest of that. So definitely I would refer to the deep conditioner. The rest I'm gonna let you know when it dries. See you in a bit. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back and this is my result next day. So I do like it. I love the definition. I love the volume, the shape, the softness because it's not super crunchy, but it's still defined and I know it's going to last. It's not going to last me a week because it's that soft hole kind of hole, but it is going to last me at least three days or something. So I'm rocking it. I'm happy with it, you know, light, airy, volume, everything. So the only thing I can say about it is that I wish there was more moisture but I feel like it's still solvable like you know maybe with the oil on it like I feel like I can tweak it to get more moisture so I wouldn't let that be a deterrent especially for those of you where Kabama doesn't wear out your hair like it does mine. Kabama is like an instant dryer for my hair like I need some kind of oil or butter or cream or something to really sort out Kabama but I wanted to just try the products on their own. So, and I have lots left, so I can even do another demo and put oil and just see what the difference is. Because I also have their wheat line uh, leave-in and deep conditioner, like protein treatment, balancing treatment to try. So I guess on that demo, when I kind of reuse the pudding, I am going to probably use some oil and see if we get more moisture. But it's light, <laughs> super light, nice definition, nice shape and everything, and I do like it. Again, pretty much everything I said when I was putting it on applies. Let me show you a little bit more. So I started off with like, uh, she sent it, shampoo I think, off camera. Then I got into the deep conditioner, which you guys know I love and was my favorite. This moisture boost hair mask just really did the thing for me. I don't know, like my hair was juicy, like it was big and juicy and just sucked in all the moisture. It's been a long time since my hair felt that moisturized. So I was really happy with it. And I loved it pretty much, top shelf. So I am paying more attention now to when I rinse how it feels. And I would say that when I rinse it didn't feel as amazing. So it was like a 10, which I pretty much never, I've never said the words, this is a 10 out of 10 before on my channel. And this was a 10 out of 10 on my hair. And I guess rinsing it, it may have been a nine, but it definitely is still up there. So I tend not to say, I have favorite deep conditioners just because I love so many but this is like up there <laughs> on the top shelf pile and I'll definitely be repurchasing this for sure for sure for sure loved it let me show you the ingredients so my hair loves fruit extracts loves honey loves agave so any collection that's bringing me fruit extracts and agave or honey is a winner and this is giving me all three so bring it and I'm here for it. And like it just has a great texture, great consistency, slip great, moisture great, scent great. It's that um, kind of sweet fruity scent. A little went a long way for me. The moisturizing styling milk. So this is where like I could feel the moisture but somehow, somehow I wasn't quite feeling that penetration. So that's why I was like a little bit concerned. I still need to like play around with this. So like when I give you guys first impressions, it's different from when you've tried it all different ways and you found the perfect way to use it, a lot of times when I give you a first impression and say, well, could have had more moisture, it's a first impression. Like, if I pair this with something else, it might be moisturizing, things like that. So I want you to remember that when I'm doing reviews, because I tend to do first impressions, at least for now. Maybe on my PJ days, I've slowed down, I'll be giving you all the bazillion time of me using a particular product. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> but for now it's a lot of first impressions. So yeah, first impression, I got great slip and definition. I felt like the moisture was kind of there, but I was a little nervous about the penetration. And I would say that's how it dried, like almost moisturized, but not like, ooh, my hair feels soft and moisturized. All of these are like typical kind of she scented type layouts in terms of ingredients. So this one is also like that. You see the aloe, you see the chamomile the regular BTMS type stuff and some like agave or some honey or some something and this is kind of like that and then they have some rumour butter and so on low down, low enough down for us who like 
more penetrating things but I don't know if it just like <laughs> I don't know if that's why my hair just didn't penetrate that well because anytime like butters and stuff I don't really want it in a leave-in like put it in the cream put it in the styler don't really put it in the leave-in but good ingredients definitely but anyway this isn't supposed to be a leave-in it's supposed to be a styling milk I guess but again it didn't say like use over a leave-in or anything it didn't say much about what to put under it if anything the moisture was just not quite there for leave-in but in terms of like giving you that slight creamy definition and slight creamy like okay this could probably seal in a leave-in it definitely did that so definitely I would say use it more as a daily moisturizer for those who like that kind of thing like if you're a hair milk gal this definitely is a uh, milk more so than a leave-in I would say I just use it as a leave-in because that's what this line had for kind of leave-in-ish thingy right <laughs> so yeah we have the curl enhancing hair jelly which gave me all kind of feelings because when I first opened it, it's kind of like a creamy looking thing. But when I touched it and when you kind of look into it, you see that it's definitely a puddingy thing. And then the hole was kind of there, but kind of not. Like my hair was defined but big, which can go either way in terms of hole when it dries. But then next day, yeah, the definition is still there. So I had all kinds of feels with this, but overall I like it. So even though I feel like there wasn't enough moisture, it's not dry. And I feel like if I throw some oil in it, which I will next time we can get there. So when I purchase it, I can't say, but I can say that I'm really loving how my hair looks. Just give me a mm, more moisture and we'll be there. If I play around with it and I get the moisture right, I would repurchase it. We have like water, aloe, good stuff. And then we have the cabama at the bottom there, which isn't a deal breaker, but it just tends to make my hair dry or at least not moisturize my hair as much as like pectin, uh, xanthan, even like hydroxylethyl cellulose and stuff like that. The butter again, which is fine on top, and then the cabama and the acrylic cross polymer. So, defines curls and gives soft hold to twisted styles. Definitely defines, definitely gives a soft hold. When it said twisted styles, I got nervous. I was like, is it gonna hold my washing go at all? But you can see it definitely did. So, yeah, final thoughts. Yeah, this is definitely a brand to look for. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the deep conditioner again. And I feel like the others with a slight tweak could be it. So I want to come back to you guys with it again. I'm just trying to think of what would be a good leave-in because I want to use a light leave-in if I'm going to be using three things. I think maybe like a she scented leave-in would probably be perfect under this. Or maybe, like I said, the honey wheat line that they have, the wheat line leave-in and then this. So, but I want to review the wheat line alone when I'm doing it too. So like maybe a third review will come in with a leave-in under these two so look out for it stay tuned lots more hair products to go unless i decide to shave it all off i don't know i was watching african hair go and shave off his hair yesterday i was like you know what you're so lucky you're a guy and that's not like as taboo because yeah i was feeling it <laughs> i just been getting like cut itches i don't know anyways anyways that was it gorgeously kinky has me feeling gorgeously kinky right now and i'm loving it loving the overall vibe of the line the brand and everything so definitely check them out next sale i'll be checking them out next sale for sure to get me some of that deep conditioner and pick up some more goodies that's it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye